वेलकम टू द चैनल ऑफ इकोहोलिक्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू जस्ट टॉक अबाउट प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस आई विल ऑल्सो बी टीचिंग यू वन मेथड थ्रू विच यू कैन कैलकुलेट प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस इन एवरी सिचुएशन और एवरी इक्वेशन गिवन टू यू सो लेट्स गेट टू द वीडियो सो वॉट इज प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस रेफर्स टू द डिफरेंस between the amount the producer is willing to supply goods for and the actual amount received by him so let us say there is a producer who wish to charge just maybe 50 rupees for his one good but instead he is getting 80 rupees so that 30 rupees the difference of 30 rupees is his producer surplus so it means if he is getting the price greater than what he is ready to charge he is going to get a producer surplus so it is a measure of producer welfare whenever i want to calculate the welfare of producers i can calculate producer surplus it's going to give me exact amount for it in other words it is the benefit to the producer because whenever we are measuring welfare through some surplus it has to be some sort of benefit from producing and selling a quantity of good at the market price so a producer would always want to maximize his producer surplus because he wants to sustain in the market so the producer surplus gives him some kind of benefit that okay you are producing something you are selling something so you are getting some kind of surplus so it's the measurement of welfare so consumers want to maximize their welfare producers would want to maximize their welfare so let's try to understand the producer surplus with the help of diagram all right so this is a diagram through which we are going to learn the concept of producer surplus now if you have a look here the red one shows you the demand curve the blue one shows you the supply curve i know this thing wherever the demand and supply curve are going to intersect i will be having the point of equilibrium let me call this point of equilibrium so x not is my equilibrium quantity and p not is my equilibrium price so consumer surplus we all know we already have a video on that for that you can check the description box below also we have that same video on our app you can download the app as well so when we talk about producer surplus now let us say for zero units he want to charge this price so this is the least price he is willing to charge so let me call this point as p let's say so now he is getting p not so this is the difference of price he is getting but the thing is he is just not selling one unit he is selling x not unit because x not is the equilibrium quantity which is demanded in the market right so this triangle i have here this is my producer surplus because the reason is he is willing to charge p price but he is getting p not for x not because as soon as more and more units he is going to sell his price charging the price he wants to charge for every successive unit will also increase because of this reason this triangle is my producer surplus so now when we find consumer surplus it is still easier to find that with the formula of triangle but when i come to producer surplus the producer surplus triangle for that we have to find so many things to get to the producer surplus right so how can we find it using mathematical techniques so integration is the answer to this question i can use the approaches of integration to calculate my producer surplus but how so when i try to integrate my curve how will i get it now what i want is i want to know this thing that out of this dotted box i have if i will subtract if i can subtract this area i would be getting my producer surplus so it means this box the area of the box would be given by p not x not from that i want to subtract the area of let let this call it triangle 1 right i want to subtract this how will i do it so if you can see this is my supply curve ka equation if i will integrate this equation from 0 to x not i will be getting the 
area of this thing it's not a triangle of course it's it's having a shape over here a different shape so it's not triangle so if i integrate my supply curve from 0 to x not and i subtract that from this thing will i not be getting my producer surplus why i will be getting the producer surplus so from this i just need to subtract the area of this first figure right so i will get my producer surplus over here so let's see how we can do it now this is the formula through which i can calculate this p not x not is going to give me the area of this whole rectangular box minus the integrated area of gx dx gx is nothing it is my supply curve ka equation so when i will equate my supply curve equation from 0 to x not i am going to get this whole area below this blue line till here like this this whole thing i am going to get so from the whole box if i subtract this i will be getting my producer surplus so it's this much easy to calculate producer surplus but you have to keep one thing in mind that before starting with either consumer or producer surplus you always have to find equilibrium price which i'm representing here by p not and my equilibrium quantity which i'm representing by x not because you need these things while you're calculating your producer surplus or consumer surplus So if you find this video useful please like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and you can let us know in the comment section below the other topics from which you want videos from our site also we have so many useful videos for you all on our app so you can download the app by going to the link in the description box below thank you everyone